a short video here on the uh, uh, repair of a DSR PD170 that has uh, no audio coming from phone or left or right. Video is okay. I've heard from the customer that uh, they uh, dropped the camera while it was connected with the phone and connected us on it. Right? And what I'm assuming is that maybe they've damaged the board inside. They said it didn't work after the fall. So I'm just going to remove the uh, the handle on this side case and get access to the TCB underneath this. First thing I have to do really is uh, power up this to get off the set for yeah. the battery. Yeah. First things first. Remove these two screws here. Strapter for ESD precautions. Yeah, what I have to do now is uh, remove this handle first. To do that, now just one screw here underneath the EVF, there's an arrow pointing to it. Four screws. There's four screws. One, two, three, and four. The whole seat handle to the main camera assembly. You must remember before you take out the last screw to hold the handle against it so it doesn't fall away from the main camera assembly. Otherwise, there's a cable inside there that will get damaged. Carefully lift up the camera handle and put the better one that's down, and you can see the connector underneath. Just clip it out. Now I'm going to remove the side casing. The first screw I'm going to take out is this one here beside the EVF. It's a silver screw, it's the only silver screw that holds the side casing in. The movie other silver screws along, along the same start indeed. Yeah, that's all right. Now, next one we're going to do is there's a screw here just underneath the rubber under the headphone socket. And that's a short black one. Remember that. Now the next one here is between the video phone and the audio phone. a long black one. Okay, next is we have one here beneath the, this rubber. And that's a short black one, so there's two black ones, short ones. And the next one's we're going to remove these two. To remove these two here. Now 
Yeah, that should be all the screws out. We'll just see when they come apart. Now there is a cable in here, you have to be very careful that you don't over pull it. Yeah. We will have to remove this cable now. Now. Now we're inside. This is the PCB that, we'll, that I suspect that is damaged. Right? To remove, there's one screw up here. It's a silver one. And it's a long silver one. Now this one here. Right beside the Wi-Fi connector to the uh, sorry, firewall ports. Yeah, just connect it down here. Be careful, we don't damage. Right now, we lift like that, and we get screwed over in the both sides. Now, that's a PCB out. Just put that camera over here. Yeah. There's a metal plate here that's, like, that's covering a lot, uh, a lot of the print. So I'm going to remove that. First of all, I'm going to remove these two screws here, silver screws. And these ones are short silver screws. Two. Now we have another two. One here and another one between audio left and right. So I'm just going to examine this now with the junior size piece and see can I see anything. Okay, right. I can see print damaged. Really, it's soldered through the PCB and it connects to the print. I could repair it, but because these cameras are out in the field with a uh, cameraman, they get an, a lot of rough handling. They would only break again and uh, they'd have to send it back in for repair, which would, call it, would mean their cameras out of commission for a while. Uh, I have one of these in stock, so I'm, I'll just get that. Okay, one second. So now I'm gonna to have to put this together. There's a little lug on the side of the PCB which goes into a little cutout on the metal bracket. And then this hole should line up. Yeah. Now I'm using the four short silver screws. So let me secure it too. Shield here, and the other one goes down here between audio left and right. Yeah, I've got one of two that went to this PCB here, and they will line up with the two little nipples on the, the metal plate, and which will line up. The back into the camera, install back in the camera. And uh, first things first, I've got to connect this connector. Uh, really click in nicely. Okay, that's in. And I've got to mount this PCB now. It, it will line up with two little nipples each side there, so the screws will 
screw holes for line up. Okay, using the long silver ones. this side panel on. First things I have to do is put this cable in. I'm using a pair of tweezers. Don't, don't pierce the cable with your tweezers. Just uh, try and put this in. I don't want to damage the, the edges. Sometimes it's difficult. snug. There's nothing caught between the two casings. Okay. First thing I'm going to, first screw I'm going to put back in is the long silver one that goes in right beside the EVF and that goes in here. Next one I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of the short black screws I got. Uh, I'm going to put that in just underneath the headphone socket. Next one is a long one and it goes between the phone of video and the audio video. Look at that, our counters. Okay. Next one is just underneath the phone host and uh, it's a short. Now I have another two long ones. And we have another two long ones that goes here and here. Next we're going to put on the handle. To do that now we first must put on this connector which uh, is this black connector here. We must connect this connector to it. Downwards. That's that place. Now, first screws I'm going to put in is the four top screws that hold the handle in. One here. Another two screws to hold the handle in. Okay, two long black ones. One goes here, just beside the battery eject. Another one just goes underneath the EVF. 
pull up the EVF to see it and you'll see an arrow point to it. Now we put on the cassette cover. What you do is you line these two plastic bits with these cutouts on the door. Okay. And using the two screws with the uh, shoulders on them. is working okay. Okay, everything's working okay now. Let's just check the ECO section. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's not much information out there on camera repair. So I hope this helps someone out there. Thanks.